Hi, I'm Sally from Sally's Baking Addiction and today I'm teaching you how to make flourless chocolate cake. This recipe surprises me every time because there's absolutely no flour or gluten holding the cake crumb together. Instead, eggs and cocoa powder make up the structure of the cake. Made from real chocolate and butter, this cake is dark, rich, moist, and very easy to make. I love decorating it with homemade mocha whipped cream and fresh raspberries. You can find this full recipe on my blog, sallysbakingaddiction.com. You don't need an electric mixer for this cake batter, though you could certainly use one if you'd like. I'm going to whisk it by hand. If you decide to make the mocha whipped cream, you will need a mixer for that. The first step is to melt butter and chocolate together. You can just use the microwave. Since it's the base of this recipe, I recommend using pure quality chocolate and not chocolate chips. Do this in a large bowl because we'll add more ingredients next. Add sugar, espresso powder, and vanilla extract. Espresso powder deepens the chocolate flavor. It's incredible. After that, we'll whisk in the eggs. Finally, whisk in cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. The baking powder adds a little lift, though you could certainly skip the leavening if desired. Grease a round cake pan, line with a parchment paper round, then lightly grease the parchment paper as well. This is how I prepare round cake pans for all of my round cakes. Simply trace the bottom of the cake pan on a large piece of parchment paper, then cut out a circle to make the round. I prefer using an 8 inch cake pan instead of a 9 inch cake pan because an 8 inch produces a slightly thicker cake. Since this is an egg heavy cake, it needs a moist environment to cook, just like cheesecake. We don't necessarily need a water bath, but some steam in the oven will keep this cake moist and prevent it from drying out. Here's what I do. Pour boiling water in a roasting pan that's set on the bottom rack of the preheated oven. Place the cake on the center rack and quickly shut the oven door. The boiling water will help create steam. Cool the baked cake for 10 minutes, then invert it onto a serving platter or cake stand. Let it cool completely before adding any garnishes. For the mocha whipped cream, mix a little espresso powder with warm water. Let that cool down. Then whip cold heavy cream, confectioner sugar, cocoa powder, and the espresso mixture into medium peaks. Serve the cake with whipped cream, fresh raspberries, and or a dusting of confectioner sugar. Enjoy!